the Pantanal in the southwest of Brazil. The largest marsh in the world, it's supplied by countless rivers. It is, above all, the unique animal life that captivates visitors to this spellbinding wetland area. The Yakari Cayman looks dangerous, and it is. Fish, fowl, or even its own species, the Cayman will eat anything if it's the right size. But a fully grown capybara is just a little on the large side for him. Capybaras. They're called grass eaters by the local Indios. Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. This herbivore has webbed toes, enabling it to forage in the water for food as well as on land. The young stay with their mother for around four months. After that, they have to fend for themselves. The Pantanal is truly their Garden of Eden. Even the most dangerous predator can't relax if there's a troublemaker bent on a mission. This butterfly refuses to be chased away. It's focused on partaking of the minerals in the caiman's tear fluid. Yakari caimans are the Pantanal's most common hunter. The waters abound with fish, but are also home to rare creatures, such as the endangered giant otter. This section of the swamp is its territory. The giant otter can grow up to 1.8 meters long, and even the caimans leave them alone. Head above water, it charts a course, and then takes a deep breath for the next dive. It can also close its nostrils, enabling it to stay underwater for several minutes. The animal is insatiable, but not every dive is a success. A fully grown giant otter needs up to four kilograms of food every day. That's no problem in this territory. The supply of fish in the Pantanal seems to be inexhaustible. The white or cream-colored fleck at the otter's throat is distinctive. Every animal has a different marking that distinguishes it from the other otters, like a fingerprint. The animal's impressive size means it has few natural enemies. But man's fondness for the otter's thick, glossy coat has almost led to its extinction. Giant otters are now only found in the Pantanal and a few other places in Brazil and Peru. The abundance of fish attracts more than just the otters. Cormorants are highly specialized at fishing. But this fish isn't going to give up without a fight.
At the end, there's no escape. The Jabiru is the symbol of the Pantanal. It wades through the water on long legs, stabbing its prey with its beak as fast as lightning. But it's not only fishing for itself. There are four hungry beaks waiting for its return. A nest with a view is home to this big stork. Greedily, its offspring fall on the food. Jabirus stay with their mate for life. And their nest is also meant to last an entire Jabiru lifetime. The Pantanal is a bird paradise. There's the chestnut-eared Aratsari. And parrots. There's a constant cawing, tweeting, and singing. Until dusk, when the chorus subsides. The next morning, the concert strikes up again. A group of hyacinth macaws romps around in the trees. They are among the last of their species. Worldwide, there are only 3,000 of them left, and all live here in the Pantanal. They're the largest parrots on Earth. Their preferred perch is in palm trees, as palm nuts are their favorite food. Deftly, they crack the hard shells with their powerful beaks. Like the jabiru, the hyacinth macaw also stays with its partner for life. The bill of the giant toucan can reach 20 centimeters in length. It can pick even the smallest fruit off the cecropia tree. The rivers and lakes in the Pantanal are fed by the Paraguay River. It's part of the same river system as the Iguazu. The Iguazu is world famous as it unleashes its power on the Brazilian-Argentinian border in a dramatic spectacle of nature. The biggest waterfall on Earth. Huge volumes of water plunge up to 82 meters down the Iguazu Falls. The thundering waterfall is surrounded by dense rainforest. It's a perfect habitat for the black vulture. Like scruffy undertakers, they perch on rocks and trees. Instead of going hunting themselves, these scavengers wait for dinner to come to them. This shady bunch has positioned itself strategically. 
and waits patiently. Incautious creatures regularly fall into the floodwaters of the Iguazu and are swept down the steep waterfalls. Only a fool would ignore a free meal like this. Deep in the nearby forest, leafcutter ants busily live up to their name. Capuchin monkeys scout among the treetops. They leap nimbly over tree trunks, twigs and branches. Constantly on the lookout for something edible. Their long tails help them hold on, balance and grip things. Capuchin monkeys are held to be highly intelligent. They use stones to dig up roots and crack nuts. This makes them one of the very few animal species that use tools. There could be a tasty insect hiding under any leaf. These monkeys have a widely varied diet, from seeds to fruits and even small vertebrates. They're omnivores, just like human beings. The South American coati isn't a picky eater either. Using its long snout, it plows the forest floor. Like a fine sensor, the snout leads it to hidden delicacies. The coati spends most of its time on the ground, where it finds plenty of food. It only retreats to the protective treetops to sleep or to mate. The thundering of the Iguazu Falls is omnipresent. Just like the marshes of the Pantanal, the waterfalls create an unusual habitat for numerous rare flora and fauna, where the powerful water masses of the Iguazu unite and in mighty cascades cleave their way through the rocky landscape. Unfettered, nature demonstrates how truly impressive she can be.